Hello everyone. Today, I've prepared the history of the British company KF, which has been one of the leading manufacturers of high-tech acoustic systems for over 50 years. KF Electronics Limited was founded in 1961 by Raymond Cook and Robert Putsch in Maidstone, England. The name KF was derived from Kent Engineering and Foundry, owned by the Putsch family, where the new company's office was located. Raymond Cook, an engineer with experience at the BBC and technical director at Wharfdale, decided to start his own brand focused on innovation and the use of modern materials after reorganizations in his previous company. One of KF's first models was the K1 Slimline, a three-way speaker system featuring polystyrene cones an AT15 high-frequency driver with a polyester diaphragm made of thin melanex. These technologies gave the speakers a combination of lightness and durability, making them an innovative solution for that time. The next iconic model was the compact two-way Celeste speakers, which brought KF popularity and financial stability. The Celeste provided high-quality sound in a small enclosure, paving the way for KF's entry into the market. By the mid-1960s, the company's portfolio expanded to include models for various tasks, such as the Compact Monitor's Portable Celeste and the DIY kits K1 and K2. However, true fame came to KF through its collaboration with the BBC. The company became the exclusive manufacturer of the LS5 and 1A monitor speakers, which were widely used in BBC studios. This model showcased KF's commitment to high-quality sound reproduction and secured the brand's reputation. A key technology in the LS5 of 1A was neoprene, used for the speaker suspensions, which allowed for excellent mid-range frequency reproduction. But Cook didn't stop there. Along with his team of engineers, he developed a new material for speaker diaphragms called Beckstream, known for its stability and even response across the frequency range. This material was used in the mid-range and base drivers of the LS5 and 5 monitors and later adopted by other manufacturers. Beckstream continued to be widely used in KF speakers, which were installed both in the company's systems and in the products of other brands. By 1970, KF had developed numerous drivers that could be combined to create various audio systems tailored to different needs. For example, the 5-inch mid-bass driver B110 and the Mylar Diaphragm T27 tweeter were used in the bookshelf speaker system Cresta, and later in the improved version of these speakers, the LS3 of 5 monitors. This famous model was released by KF in 1975. The monitors became a standard for the BBC and achieved cult status in the audio equipment market. A significant portion of KF's innovations in the 1970s and 1980s were developed by Laurie Finch, who joined the company in 1968. Finch, who had previously worked at Celestion and Goodman's, contributed greatly to the creation of KF's acoustics and the use of computer analysis for design and testing. In the 1970s, KF introduced its first reference series with models 104 Egg B and 105, which became famous worldwide. The use of computer methods allowed KF to match speakers in stereo pairs with an accuracy of half a decibel, significantly improving their acoustic performance. In the 1980s, KF developed the UniQ technology, which became the brand's hallmark. UniQ allowed the placement of the tweeter at the center of the mid and bass module, creating a point source sound with highly focused and smooth audio. This technology continues to evolve and remains key to KF's products to this day.
In the final decades of the 20th century, KF began actively developing multi-channel systems, including models with its proprietary UniQ technology. The brand's portfolio included both classic systems, some of the first to be certified by THX, and designer models like the KHT 2005 with unusual rounded satellites. These models were more affordable than traditional hi-fi systems, but maintained the sound quality characteristic of KF. The company also continued to focus on creating compact systems with deep bass and released budget-friendly speakers while maintaining high-quality standards. In the 1990s, the Q-Series was introduced, serving as a gateway to audiophile equipment for many. Despite active developments, KF faced financial difficulties in the early 1990s, and in 1992, the company was acquired by GP Acoustics. Product development remained in Maidstone, where flagship models were still assembled, while production of more affordable products was moved to a factory in Shenzhen, shared with Celestion. In 1995, the company's founder, Raymond Cook, passed away. However, his principles, quality, integrity, dedication, and innovation continue to be the foundation of KF's philosophy. That same year, the company released the fourth generation of the reference series speakers with fourth generation UniQ drivers. With the turn of the millennium, KF emphasized computer modeling in product development. This approach allowed for optimized designs in a virtual environment before creating physical prototypes. For example, the next generation of UniQ drivers featured an improved mid and base cone with added reinforcement ribs and optimized geometry, enhancing acoustic performance. KF has always experimented with technologies to improve bass response, even in compact enclosures. One of the key innovative methods KF had been using since the 1980s was the addition of activated carbon inside speaker cabinets. This increases the effective internal volume, improving low frequency response. However, KF only revealed this method to the industry in the early 2000s. This technology was applied in the development of one of the company's most famous speaker systems, Muon, designed by architect Ross Lovegrove. The Muon became a symbol of the perfect combination of form and function. The approach was also used in the Blade model, released in 2011. These speakers, with their rounded enclosures and drivers not only on the front panel, but also on the sides, immediately impressed with their design. However, their shape was not just for show, it was designed with acoustic requirements in mind, positively impacting the sound. The central element of the Blade system was the new UniQ driver, surrounded by bass drivers placed on the sides. In 2014, KF released a smaller version, Blade 2, where the 9-inch bass drivers were replaced with 6-inch ones, and the overall cabinet volume was reduced by a third. Also in 2011, KF introduced the LS50 monitors, designed as successors to the legendary BBC LS5-3A monitors. Initially intended as a limited release, the LS50 success kept it on the market for nearly a decade. Subsequently, KF launched the active version, LS50 Wireless, which became popular due to its built-in class AB amplification and wireless connectivity. This model marked a significant step in the development of active acoustics and had a major impact on the market. The success of the LS50 Wireless inspired KF to create a more compact active system, LSX, in 2018. It was a smaller version of the LS50 Wireless with a smaller UniQ driver 
and class D amplification instead of AB. In the 2010s, KF also ventured into the headphone market, releasing several models, including the M500, co-designed with Porsche Design, and the Space One, Space One Wireless and Motion One models. Today, KF continues to adhere to the principles laid down by Raymond Cook, focusing on product quality, whether they are manufactured in China or Maidstone. KF offers a wide range of speakers for every taste. In addition to the renowned LS50, both active and passive versions, and the premium blade, the company continues to update its lines, including the budget-friendly Q-Series, the R-Series, and the top-tier reference speakers, which are priced just below the blade. New generations of these models are often radically updated, with their appearance and features sometimes seeming entirely new. KF also incorporates cutting-edge technologies previously only available in flagship products into its lower lines. The Q and R series systems are designed to deliver high-quality sound for relatively little money. The reference series is presented by the company as a product with uncompromising quality for the most demanding audiophiles. Besides the mentioned speakers, KF's current catalog includes the high-tech wireless LS60 systems, designed for modern users. These speakers do it all, supporting a wide range of streaming services, various popular protocols, and integration into almost any setup, whether it's for music, home theater, or gaming. Also in the modern lineup are the designer wireless headphones, Moo 3 and Moo 7. As you might guess, both models support advanced high-res formats and boast a wide range of features. One of the company's key recent innovations, as highlighted by KF representatives themselves, is the ninth generation Q series. The most notable features of this fresh series are the metamaterial absorption technology, MAT, and the 12th generation of the UniQ driver. As for the MAT system, it's a special labyrinthine absorbing structure in the rear of the driver, which eliminates unwanted sounds and distortions, providing cleaner and more natural sound. The 12th generation of drivers, based on the proprietary UniQ system, features new techniques for improving sound quality and system reliability, including additional reinforcing ribs behind the tangerine waveguide, a redesigned MK, two-cone neck control tweeter damper, and an improved mid-range motor system. In addition, KF continues to collaborate with various large and well-known brands. One of the most striking collaborations is with the car manufacturer Lotus. The latest models from this brand are equipped with KF Audio. Not only did KF provide signature drivers, but it also fully designed the audio system setup. The same engineers who developed the current Blade and LS60 models worked on the sound system. If Lotus and KF are to be believed, the results exceeded expectations, and KF specialists managed to achieve remarkably accurate and coherent sound for both the driver and passengers. Whether this is truly the case can only be determined through practical experience. However, there is no doubt that the collaboration between Lotus and KF is undoubtedly at a premium level. As before, a key element in the creation of new products remains the advanced computer modeling system and careful selection of components. KF's innovative developments are supported by its owner, GP Industries, which is registered in Singapore and owns not only KF but also Celestion and the GP brand, under which batteries and accumulators are produced. It is worth noting that GP Industries 
is part of the Gold Peak Technology Group based in Hong Kong. This large company funds all of KF's developments, allowing the brand to continuously evolve and maintain a high level of quality across all product lines, from budget-friendly to the most premium options. Today, KF's portfolio includes cutting-edge systems in the LS series and premium blade speakers for audiophiles. KF also collaborates with luxury brands in related industries and continues to work on breakthrough innovations in audio technology, just as it did in the early days of the company. I hope this video helped you learn about KF and its history. Feel free to subscribe and like the video. Leave your comments below on what AV history you'd like me to cover next. And as always, thanks for watching.